Hey guys, how's it going? James Cards FC here. Thanks for clicking on the video as usual. Um, feels good to get back in front of our normal slides type presentation today. No IRL, no breaks, no card grading, no showing off pickups, just a classic fundamentals video, specifically today talking about low pop and why you need to be careful when you see the words low pop or when you're looking at pop reports and you see something that might be low pop. Uh, today we're going to be going over the fundamentals of why you need to be extremely careful when we talk about things like low pop. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into the video with a little introduction. So in high school, uh, I loved economics. I had a great economics uh, professor, or I think it's a teacher at that point in high school. Um, he was awesome. He brought a lot of really cool examples to class. Class was always exciting. He was this mid-30s guy. So loved econ, supply and demand, awesome. Opportunity cost, love it. Um, and so I loved it so much, I majored in it in college for about a semester, and then I hated it because I had an older professor in his 60s or 70s that was doing everything on pen and paper on a projector in front of a classroom of four to 500 students, and it was just awful, and I could not get into it at all. He started talking about more complex equations, more charts um, on pen and paper, but yeah, hated it, so I ended up transferring out of it, but I don't even know why I'm sharing this story, but the, the point I'm trying to get to is that in the card market, the concepts from basic economics are inescapable. Um, supply and demand basically runs the entire market, as you see in pretty much any market uh, across a global scale. Um, so especially in an unregulated market where supply and demand reign supreme. So when we shift focus to specifically talking about the card market, I want to take this example of Kareem Adeyemi's uh, football sticker rookie. So it sold on January 19th of 2020 when it was pop four in PSA 10 for around $400. Now, it was not actually pop four, but at the time it was pop four. So there were thousands of listings for this Adeyemi sticker, but at the time there was no way to really grade it unless you're willing to spend $100 in grading, I think was the lowest tier at the time. So unless you wanted to take a massive risk, you couldn't really grade this sticker, even though there were thousands of them out there raw, probably in PSA 10 condition. Now, this isn't the easiest thing in the world to grade, but eventually, just due to how many are out there, the population report is going to get way up there. So, at the time, it was pop four, and it sold for $400. Um, a few months later, in May, when its pop had risen to 13 so not that much, um, the price had already dropped to $127. So, there's a lot of factors at play here. Uh... So the pop's going up, Adiemi is kind of falling out of favor, I guess, although I'm not sure why you would have had more hype in January than in May. Um, he should still be looked at as the same sort of player he was. I don't remember a significant Adiemi moment that added to his profile or subtracted from it from any time between January and May, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. We're talking about the same player in terms of performance, and in fact, he's about to get a move to Dortmund later in this month of May, so you would expect the prices to go up, right? Uh, no, that's actually not what happens. So, like I say here, among other factors, market conditions, player performance, etc., the pop increasing by just nine, in this case right here, sorry as I scratch my nose, <laughs> allergy season, right? Um, the pop increased by just nine, uh, the drop in price ended up being over 70%. So from $400 down to $125. And you would think his transfer to Dortmund would increase his prices back again, right? Uh, no, that's not what happened. In fact, the next one that came to auction in PSA 10 went even lower, uh, sold for $90 on PWCC auction on May the 22nd. So that was after his transfer, uh, the price continued to go down. Why is this the case, despite the fact that Adeyemi is probably in a more preferable position now than he has ever been in either of these two cases? The reason is because the pop has increased from 4 to 13. So, there is likely only a very limited number of buyers that want to buy this sticker in PSA 10 at the $400 price level. Uh, in fact, there's not very many people that want to buy it in a price level between $150 or $350. So, every time a new one comes to market... That's one more buyer that does not need one. If we're looking at this purely in a case of somebody's coming to market and only wants to buy one. Now, of course, there could be multiple buyers that want to have 10 to 15 ADMEs, but that's not what we're seeing here. And it's not usually what we're seeing with cards or stickers like this. So every time one comes off the market, that is one less buyer for it to have the demand to make the price go up in the future. So 
Uh, that's why you see in a three-week period, despite the fact that he moves to Dortmund and the pop stayed the same, uh, the price continues to go down because apart from market condition and player performance, you needed another buyer to take on the Eddie Amy sticker at the next price. The person that bought one for 127 probably does not want another one for 92 because they already bought one, they don't want two. And the person that bought it for 400, even though they could buy it again for 127, they probably bought it without the intention of buying multiples. So price continues to drop as more of the pop comes to market. And not only is more of the pop coming to market, more of the pop is getting graded. And so this should, in theory, depending on the market conditions, of course, continue to drop and drop and drop as we go through these next few months, unless Adiemi does something player performance-wise that drastically exceeds expectations or the market conditions rapidly improve, in which case this would be in a position to possibly go up again. But where everything stands right now being constant, this is going to continue going down in price, at least based on the fundamentals that we we're understanding at the time. So let's talk about your objective here. Your objective is then to buy items with low pops, like actual low pops, not low pops being graded, but low pops as in there's not that many of these things actually out there. So in theory, this is the best way to avoid the supply and demand issues that plague the higher population cards and stickers like the IDME uh, that I just talked about. However, given how new our market is, the current population reports we see are not fully indicative of what the future will hold. Case in point, the idea of the example was pop four, then pop 13. If I checked now, it's probably around 20. And if I check in three months, I would guess it'd be closer to 50 to 100 because PSA has gotten cheaper and cheaper to grade with. So there are currently many cards masquerading as low pop when in reality their populations could be quite high when all is said and done and that has been exacerbated by the grading shutdown which has only added to the issues by making many cards ungradable and artificially masking their true populations by ungradable i mean you have the adiemi sticker you maybe have 20 or 30 of them but you can't really grade them at 100 dollars because it doesn't make sense to you can't really grade them at 50 dollars because if you get a psa 9 you're probably going to get killed you can maybe grade them i have another numbers on it at 30 dollars because a psa 9 I'm imagining is 20 or $30 and a PSA 10 is $90. That starts to make more sense and then more can get graded. The pop report starts to get more real. So with that being said, let's talk about something you need to understand when you're playing this sort of game. Let's talk about the evil raw to grade flippers. And this would be people like me, guilty as charged, uh, people that are looking for opportunities on the market to grade things that are currently undergraded for big margins. So when looking to make a purchase, especially on a slab, it is necessary to take into account how the raw to grade flippers are looking at that item. So let's talk about how, as a raw to grade flipper, I would look at this Pedri Mega Cracks rookie. This is one that raw to grade flippers have probably been looking at for over a year now. It can be bought, at least in the current market, for less than $10 in bulk. And by in bulk, I mean you can buy hundreds of these for $10 or less. The PSA 9 rate of this card is 55%, and the PSA 9 sales price is $90. The PSA 10 rate is 20% and the PSA 10 sales price is $600. The cost to grade right now with PSA is as low as $30. So if we take the all-in price of less than $50 per card to get it graded by PSA and you have a 55% chance at getting a $90 card and a 20% chance at getting a $600 card, why would the raw degraders not play with these margins in bulk? That is the question that you have to ask yourself because that is the question that is going to answer why this pop is going to explode over the next few months because now at $30 a card and even in some cases at $50 a card, it makes a world of sense to grade a bunch of Pedri Mega Cracks cards in order to capitalize on these two numbers right here because the math just works out. It's $50 per card all in. You have a 55% chance of getting $90 and you have a 20% chance of getting $600 at least in the current market state right now. So all the raw grade flippers see these stats and they say, I should really submit a bunch of pedries because I want to take advantage of these margins. Now, what's going to happen is that there will be an inevitable race to the bottom at some point. The question is when. So as more raw grade flippers want to grade these things, they notice these margins. These margins continue to shrink and shrink and shrink. For example, the PSA 10, I believe, was as high as $1,200 just a few months ago. Now it's $600. PSA 9s at one point were $600 last year. They're now 90 Pedri is probably more popular than he was at this point now than he was last year, yet his prices are astronomically lower. Why? Because the pop is greatly increasing, and this is a very, very, very high pop card, so this, in theory, should continue to drop and drop and drop, no matter how Pedri performs, just because of how many are out there and how many people are going to want to take advantage of these raw-to-grade margins. So, 
as I say down here, unless the demand for Pedri Mega Cracks greatly increases over the next few months, these prices are going down and they're going down fast. So like I said, the last PSA 10 sale was around $600. I actually believe the sale before that, which was just a month or a few weeks prior, was around a grand. So it's already dropping at a pretty quick pace. And this is probably only going to continue as more and more come back from PSA. So the James Cars FC prediction right here, Pedri Mega Cracks PSA 10 are probably going to be around sub $300 heading into the World Cup. That would be my prediction. Obviously, no financial advice but i would not recommend getting a slabbed pedri i would prefer to play the raw game if you want to play the game with this mega cracks card i wouldn't i am personally not interested in playing any of these games with this card because i think it's way too risky on both sides whether you're buying slabbed or buying raw uh there's going to be a race to the bottom on both sides and i don't want to be a part of that race to the bottom on either side so in my opinion, in my prediction, Crystal Ball, um, I think there's going to be sub 300 heading into the World Cup. No financial advice, but do with that information what you will. The fundamentals do not support this card uh, doing very well once so many come back from PSA. So let's try and understand what is truly low pop. So with a Ballon d'Or on the way, Benzema is seeing demand at an all-time high, and the supply being sent to grading as well is at an all-time high. So not only are people wanting to buy Benzema cards because he is one of the best players in the world right now and he's going to win a Ballon d'Or and that's going to add to his legacy, but the Rada grade flippers, like in the example I just showed here, are seeing margins that make a lot of sense to grade in bulk on. So these are all the Benzema rookies that are currently low pop. I list them out here. You have the 2005 WCCF, which is the only 2005 issue. It's currently a pop 20. The 2006 Panini Foot is pop 72. The Panini McDonald's is currently zero, but that will increase. And the 2006 Derby is currently less than five. I couldn't pull up the PSA pop report on it because it's solo pop. It doesn't show up right now, but it's less than five. So that leads us to the important questions. Which Benzmas are actually low pop and which Benzmas will receive the most demand in the future? I'm not going to be talking about demand right now. It's a lot harder to forecast than the populations are, at least in my opinion. But specifically in today's video, we're going to talk about which Benzmas are actually low pop. Let's talk about 2005 WCCF. This is Benzmas only 2005 release and the current pop is 20. Of those cards that got graded, 9 is the most common grade with a 40% chance at a PSA 9, and 8 is the second most common grade with a 30% chance at a PSA 8. The current raw listings, if you look on eBay, both available currently and sold over the past few weeks and months, is somewhere around $25 to $35, and hundreds and hundreds have sold in the months of May and June, and you can still find hundreds if you want to do the work to do that yourself right now. So, uh, the current graded prices for this card, I was going to say sticker, but it's a card, are a PSA 8, somewhere around $100. This is a guess based on the last SGC 8.5 sale at $65. And then a PSA 9, most recently sold on May 29th for $500 on PWCC. So when you look at the margins like this, $25 to $35 raw in bulk, 40% chance at PSA 9, 30% chance at PSA 8, you start to understand why the pop is doing what it's doing on the growth side. Uh, this pop has shot up over the past couple of weeks from 8 to 20, and now that grading is only $30 of PSA over the next few months going into the end of the year, I would expect this pop to completely explode and be in the hundreds uh, range for this card, because like I said, hundreds and hundreds... Sorry, my phone ringing. As I said, the hundreds and hundreds of these cards has sold over the past couple of months on eBay. So not all of the cards sold on eBay will be in grading condition, but even if you just take 10, 20% of the cards that were sold on eBay, that's going to be 100 or so cards heading to PSA that have a good chance of getting in a PSA 8 or a PSA 9. And so the pop is really going to go up on these things as we approach the World Cup and as grading starts to get cheaper and cheaper, this pop will only grow further and further. Next, we're going to talk about the 2006 Panini foot sticker. This is another one of the super mainstream Benzema rookies. If you don't like WCCF, this is probably this, the uh, card or sticker you're going for. It has Panini foot lineage, which is always nice. And so this, in most cases, is preferred over the WCCF. The current population of this sticker is 72, 9 being the most common grade. You have a 28% chance at a PSA 8, a 43% chance at a PSA 9, and a 15% chance at a PSA 10, based on what we have seen in the past. Current raw listings of this are not the easiest thing in the world to find, but they are out there. The most recent auction for one ended around $150 raw. Really nice looking raws are up for somewhere around $300 by an hour best offer. So somewhere around that $150 range is the current 
raw price if you want to try and find this out in the wild. But of course, over the most previous weeks and months, they have sold for around there or less than there in better condition than what you can find now. So, as far as current graded prices go, PSA 8s are going for around $200, PSA 9s $400, down from uh, $600 just a couple weeks ago, and then PSA 10s are, the most recent sale was 2.8k on May 30th of 2022. The issue that we see right here is this massive gap between the PSA 8s, or sorry, the PSA 9s and the PSA 10s. Where I get worried about this is when you look over here, the PSA 10 pop has gone from 1 to 11 in just three weeks' time. So April, we actually saw our first PSA 10 hit the pop report, and now sitting in June, we have 11 of them. Question now becomes, is there enough demand at this 2.8K price level to withstand an 11X increase in the pop of this sticker? In my opinion, that answer is probably no, but we will see what happens as we go through these next few weeks. This population in PSA 10 will only grow going forward, and I would expect a slope like this to continue, especially because now it makes a lot more sense to grade these because now... You can point to the sale and say, hey, if I get a PSA 10, I get this money. I should definitely be sending these in at $50. And even if not, you'll be sending them in at the $30 level, hoping for a PSA 8 or a PSA 9. So as the pops grow on this, I would be worried about the prices of these slabs going forward, unless there is some sort of market condition change or Benzema does something even more incredible. Not sure what that would be, but at this point, I think it's risky with the slabbed Benzema's as well as the raw because of what we're seeing right here with these margins and this popper board. So then we'll talk about the Derby and McDonald's alternative rookies. So the McDonald's is actually a Panini rookie sticker that was released in France in 2006. So during his um, rookie season, but not 2005 like WCCF. So same year as Panini foot. The Derby is a Derby total card that was also released. Not sure if that was in France, but it is hard to find. Technically not a Benzema specific card because it doesn't say Benzema anywhere on it, but that is Benzema in the image. And so people are referring to this as a Benzema alternative rookie. Uh, the current pops of these two items are the McDonald's is a pop zero and the Derby is less than five. Now the McDonald's is starting to get submitted to PSA and SGC. I have not seen more than five of them total across a few different platforms, but perhaps there's going to be more of those than the Derby's, but at least right now, both of these pop reports are less than five, and McDonald's has not been graded by PSA at this point. Um, the current raw listings for these, good luck for trying to find them. Uh, they are not easy. The This McDonald's one shows up in France maybe once a month on auction. Uh, maybe if you look on some other sources in the French market, you can find it. But as far as French eBay goes, maybe once a month this shows up. This one shows up once or twice a month. So at least in my opinion, from what I've seen, the McDonald's is more rare than the Derby. But both of them are very difficult to find, at least right now. The most recent prices for both of them are around $150 raw, but each sale that has happened over the past few months has increased more than the previous one. For example, on French eBay, this sold for around 20 euros, and then most recently, this past week, sold for around 150 euros. So the price just keeps escalating as more awareness is put on this sticker, and people understand that this might actually have some true rarity. So current graded prices there are none because they have not sold graded and pop growth there is no data on it because there's just not enough data out there and they haven't been graded enough so in my opinion these are probably much much more true rare than either of the other benzmas and in that case these might be better options if you're looking at trying to get into benzma cards or stickers at the current time given what we know about our current market and the fundamentals surrounding it so if I was targeting Benzema, I would be targeting things like this, but understand that this is not easy. You're not just going to go on eBay and buy either of these. Uh, they're not out there. You're going to have to do some grinding, and maybe you're going to have to win a competitive auction for it. But yeah, these, these two are out there. They're currently hard to find, but their rarity is much stronger than the other two stickers or cards that we talk about for Benzema. So... 
Now I just want to talk about stickers that we sort of know of in the hobby, at least at this point, that seem to have true rarity. So one of them would be the Zlatan Ibrahimovic rookie sticker. This is a pop 35, and the pop added in the past year is 11. Uh, raw, these are very difficult, and if found, they are very expensive because people know what they have. Um, there's actually rumors that in Sweden, which is where this sticker comes from, it is easier to find an Alifa Bolija Pele than it is to find this sticker. So that gives you an example of just how hard these are to find. So at this, at least at this point in the market, from what we understand, this sticker right here has some true rarity. Also, in the sort of the same true rarity way, we have the Xavi Panini Spanish Liga rookie. This is a sticker. Xavi has a uh, multiple rookies. I think it's six or seven of them, but this one is by far the most hard one to find. It is currently pop eight. There have been five added in the past year, and raw, if you're trying to find this in PSA two or greater condition, good luck. Um, this one actually right here is currently on eBay. I'd probably give it a PSA two. It's got some really bad creasing and corners, but if you want it, it's up there. I think it's 2.5K, so it's <laughs> extremely expensive but it is out there in psa 2 condition if you're trying to find it any higher and for a decent price you're out of luck um try grinding the spanish mar spanish markets spanish ebay um this is not just something you look up on ebay and find this is really really tough same thing for this Luka Modric 2005 or 2006 stickers these were made in croatia so awareness on the sticker market is a lot lower and production we imagine is a lot smaller the pop of these two combined, at least I don't even think a 2005 has been graded, but for the 2006, it's less than five. Pop added in the last year, less than five. And raw, this might be the single most difficult pre-modern sticker to find. In fact, uh, the first pop one that was graded in the PSA slab just sold for over two grand on eBay the other day. And this is what I would call a true rare sticker. You're not gonna find this looking on eBay. You're not gonna find this looking on European marketplaces. Uh, maybe you, you have an outside shot at doing so, but even over the past two years, I've probably only seen three or four of these total. Um, and the people that own them usually don't want to give them up because they understand just how rare and valuable this could be. So the common thing between all these is you cannot just log on to eBay and buy these types of stickers without paying a massive premium for them. And in some cases, you may not be able to find them at all because they do have that true rarity. Now, that differs from looking at these Benzmas, where there's seemingly an unlimited amount of these. There are a limited but still findable amount of these, and these are very difficult to find right now, but more may come up on the market as these start to increase in popularity in France and people realize what they have and try and list them on the market. But right now, I haven't seen any listed. So... In conclusion, low pop does not always mean low pop. You need to do additional research to make sure the card is actually rare and not just undergraded. Uh, a tip here would be don't FOMO into buying the first graded copies of mass-produced stickers, the Kareem Adeyemi being the obvious example. It's gone from $400 down to below $100, and the Benzema sold around $3,000. It would not surprise me if in the recent months it starts selling for under $2K or even less than that as more get added to the pop report and more get graded. Just basic supply and demand, economics 101, my high school professor would be so proud. Um, to acquire these truly rare stickers, you will either need to pay a premium or grind the market. So you're not just going to log on to eBay and find these for super competitive prices. You're going to have to do some grinding to find them raw, or you're going to have to pay up for them when they do come up. So uh, I listed the three what appear to be right now true rarity stickers on the market, followed by these two Benzmas that we will see in the future if they end up being true rarity or not. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. Not sure what I was trying to say there. I got to slow down. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe as usual. Um, and I think that'll do it for today. Not sure what my next video is going to be. Making it up as I go along here. The more loose the schedule, I think the more interesting the content ends up being. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.